All right, so today we're gonna go over P4 on Gavudu, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, money hill in all of Vanguard. And I really wanted to dissect how you, you know, hold, how you break on this hill, uh, just because of how big it is to Gavudu in general, and because of how many points you can get and how many points you can basically take away from your oppo opponents um, with the situation that you're in, uh, whether you're holding or breaking, and how it deals with the entire macro game of Gavudu. So this is right before champs, but the thing is, I'm not really giving too much away. You know, all the teams at this point know how to play this map and know how to break and hold this hill as well. So it's not really, you know, I'm not giving any trade secrets away here. Uh, so I just want to give you guys a little in-depth detail on, you know, how teams and how players are thinking strategically in the game, especially on uh, Gavudu P4. So let's hop right into it. So obviously we're going to start with the rotation here and right before P4 we got P3 obviously. So on P3 it's another big money hill. So if you can get a full 60 on P3 and then make your way into breaking P4 that's a huge chunk of time that can really you know completely change the entire game and, and possibly win you the game. So this one whole like situation of the P3 P4 is, is so big because if you lose a chunk of time on P3 that's your chance. To recoup that and you know hold a full p4 and trade that away so you know in terms of the macro game you're seeing a lot of teams holding p3 trying to break p4 they may not break p4 but they might get a little chunk of time or contest some time and then end up having spawns for p5 and and chaining that way so if you're able to at least make p4 mixy that's you know well beyond what you you wanted to do so we'll go into the rotation of p3 obviously you're gonna have you know, your holding team, let's say it's, you know, 20 seconds left. If you're not rotating by 25 seconds on P3 and you're on the bad side, you're you're doing something wrong. At this point, you know, you have to rotate. Please, you know, tell all your rank play teammates, rotate at 25, even rotate at 30, 35 at this point, because you do not want to be on the bad footing, especially if you got full, you know, 60 held from from the back here you know the other team is getting full 60 holding from the front and they have the rotation of p4 you need to escape as quickly as possible and, and on the, the other side if you are holding uh from this front side like you need someone as they're spawning up to watch oops here we go you need someone to watch this rotation you need to pick it up you know you see a lot of teams especially in the, in the team comms and listen to this if, if you hear it at champs uh, but they'll be counting names, you know, they'll be saying, you know, Paco, Kiz, dead, we're looking for Krim and Paul. So anyone that could get through, you know, that's a that's a threat to you guys, because if they, you know, get through, you know, they get one kill on the opening as P4 is popping, that's huge. And that could lead to a squad spawn that could lead to an entire failed hill on your part. If you're this team that should have the rotation, but you just forgot to pick up one guy. So make sure you're counting names. Make sure you're looking at the kill feed, seeing who's dead or who got an engagement, so you're accounting for everyone. Um, you don't want anyone passing through by or, you know, just not having the rotation being picked up. And, you know, that is the biggest thing for the P3 rotation. You want to be picking it up if you're holding the end of P3 and you have the rotation of P4. On the opposite side, like I said, you want to be rotating as quickly as possible, you know, past the 30 second mark for sure. Uh, because you need to try and get yourself out of here get yourself out of this trap because you don't want to be you know you don't want to keep spawning back here as uh, p4 is popping because this other team you know they're playing ring here and you might not be escaping but if if it's like 15 10 seconds you know these guys are gonna be spawning up back here they're gonna start spawning and rotating to, or pushing to bow to try and cut off your rotation um, the main goal on this rotation is to hold both sides because there's a squad spawn here. We'll talk about the, the spawns for P4 and yeah, we'll talk about it here. Here's one spawn, you know, the boat's another spawn and I'm just giving general areas because this is squad spawn. So it's not like a specific point, but you'll spawn in specific areas. Um, P1's another spawn, back tower, or like back Narnia back here is, is another spawn. You have a spawn here and obviously the one defending spawn uh, back here. I'm pretty sure if no one's pushed up, you might be able to even spawn uh, Fire Alley too, but that's like, it almost never happens. 
the main spawn point is uh, this back beach spawn point, and, and we'll talk more about that. So, by the way, thank you to Tac Maps. This is a much better like solution than the paint thing I had yesterday. So, that was uh, <laughs> I really appreciate uh, this app itself because it's a lot cleaner than just using paint. Okay. So going into the P4, after the rotation happens, obviously as your, your team, you're, you're trying to get to this IV point here uh, because the general concept is, you know, you want to be spawning your team here so that you can try and trap this team in the back and have them spawning back here on the beach while you also soak up time. So if you were able to get these kills, have them spawning back, at, back out here, you have one guy fire alley, maybe two guys in hill, one guy watching like over here or even back, you know, P1 if he just spawned, but trying not to block this spawn, obviously, like obviously you, you just want to be holding this side um, because this is the trap that you want to set up. You want them all spawning back here because if you spawn uh, back here, you have to make a huge rotation over here to try and, you know, get a rotation for P5. Otherwise, these guys while holding from the front are going to have favorable spawns for the p5 as well because any kills that you get they're just going to be spawning you know back up here and you know they're just going to have the better rotation and they can fully chain both of these hills together um so at the actually at the start of the game what you'd see is a lot of teams would try and you know have one guy playing p1 here and blocking this spawn to try and spawn these people out um, so you can have a better break on the front side. The thing is with that is a lot of teams quickly realize, you know, you, you might be spawning them out, which is good. But again, if we're talking about the macro game, the most ideal situation is you taking points away from them and having the rotation for P5. Nonetheless, like you can do this and break early, which is, you know, completely fine. And then hold, try and hold from there. It's just ideal to try and trap them and get beat P5 uh, rotation. Um, the, the other problem that you'd have with this is that you have this guy P1, you know, blocking the spawn or getting spawn kills, blocking the spawn and having them spawn out. That puts your other guys on a timer. Um, so let's say you only get one kill on the, these guys spawning here, but there's three left. There's two guys on hill, one guy playing this fire alley, playing, you know, this cut to try and see anyone pushing up fire. You have this guy helping him and uh, watch some guy watching front or something like that. This guy's on a timer. Like you, the rest of you, you have to break this quickly because you have one guy, a ticking time bomb coming and trying to flank you and completely breaking your entire, you know, break setup. So, you know, let's say you, you spawn this guy out, but you guys have one guy S2, one guy breaking from mid, one guy Ivy. This guy has a clear sight on your two players, and let's say he gets two kills. That means, you know, they're spawning out, squad spawning probably with this P1 guy or squad spawning boat or Ivy. But this guy, or this guy's continuing on. He's, he's probably going to spawn you guys over here, to be honest. You're not going to be spawning on P4 because of this guy. He, he's probably going to be blocking this with this guy's or with his other teammates pushing up. And that just completely breaks your entire setup. So the whole ticking time bomb thing was a, a huge problem for teams, even though you were spawning them out. And, you know, obviously teams just ended up realizing the most ideal situation is we just trap these guys over here. Um, so obviously P3 rotation or P3 to P4, you're trying to get through the boat, trying to get this IV spawn and then trying to trap these guys from the back, getting kills here. Um, if you're able to get a, uh, if you're able to get this kill and then sorry just having a tough time with these these triangles over here but you you're able to get these kills have one guy fire alley as these guys are spawning like this is a huge setup huge trap uh, you know at this point in the game you're not going to see anyone you know pushing around here even if if you do push here they, they technically st could still spawn here but you're just throwing at that point because there's a possibility of them not spawning there so at this point you know if you're playing p1 go down S2 and break from the front with your teammates or, you know, cut down over here at this cut and play from the front and, and or trying to play these kills, anyone wrapping this way. Uh, that's the main idea of how you want to break and, and then end up holding on, uh, on P4 there. Uh, I guess we can talk about just the rotation for the holding team 
you know, you, you definitely want to stack, you know, the boat side because you know that the, 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 the opponent or the, your opponents are trying to get this Ivy spawn. So if you can stack this side and try and play like little corners, I'll try and find this little corner here. Little corners underneath boat or, or underneath Ivy. We call this Lamar Rock and he would play this on the rotation sometimes or even inside boat, you know, top gun. Just, you know, guarantee yourself a kill because if you can guarantee yourself a kill and you have the rotation, you know, let's say you're, you also have a guy P1 uh, that's fighting scrap time, you know, they're still going to be spawning back here and this is the most ideal setup. Like, you know, you're not getting past this unless you get these two kills first because you're not going to be breaking this hill unless you get, you know, this Ivy spawn pretty much. So um, that's the pretty much the basics of holding and breaking. Um, if we're talking about the rotation 2p5 and you are getting trapped, uh, like I said before, you're going to be trying to exit out through p1 and you need to do that quickly because if you keep getting trapped, you don't have time with 10 seconds left to, to start doing it because, you know, the other team's already going to be on the rotation fully set up. So you want to be doing this, you know, 25, 20 seconds, trying to get a squad spawn, um, down here where p3 is and then breaking if p5 just popped through this side or uh actually getting the rotation yourself so those are the the two situations you know breaking and holding it's a huge hill in terms of the macro dynamics of voodoo just because of it coming off of a big full 60 hill in p3 it itself being a pretty easy hill to hold from either side like don't get me wrong you can hold this completely well from this side or from the other side you know if if you have you know your holding team let's say back here and you you're you're just holding completely well you have these guys spawning out ivy like you can you can hold this it's not so much like okay they're spawning ivy they're gonna break now like it's still holdable this is such a tight setup that you can play on hill and they still need to you know get through to fire alley get through the hill if you guys have people cutting this off you know you can even play um, your p1 guy over here and he can look this way help you guys out or if anyone's coming mid he can help you out there like there's a lot of you know different things you can take into account and that's why respawn is so huge and and crazy in this game you know there's a lot of things going through the players heads there's a lot of situations so a lot of decisions are being made in split seconds of time and you know, you just have to make the right play at the right moment. And a lot of the times it's it's hard and, you know, people don't get a lot of credit for that because respawn is seen as, you know, you're just spawning up and going and doing one thing. But there's a lot of things that go into it. So I'm going to go over some clips of some real game situations just to talk you through uh, the concepts that we uh, just talked about. All right. So this is the first uh, clip we'll take. And this is from an, a pretty early game. Uh, in the season i think it's from stage two this is seattle the white team boston the green team and i just want to talk about the ideal situation for a holding team so boston they're on this rotation they have the favorable side obviously they're giving seattle scrap time and this is what happens if you don't rotate early so you know seattle has a late rotation here boston's already set up they have a bunch of guys stacking on this boat side and you'll just see here they end up getting two, the, both the kills on the two guys rotating late, trying to get that IV spawn. One guy goes back for time. Uh, we have another guy playing the P1 scrap time hitter uh, in P1. He gets that kill. And now it's at Seattle. You're spawning, you know, back red tower. You're spawning in Narnia. This is the worst case scenario because they have everyone set up. You know, number two just died. He's just going to get hill for the team. And now you have to clear everything middle map. You still have to clear number one. You're still not spawning Ivy. You know, P1 is gone because number three one is gunfight. And now you have to just basically book it, try and win gunfights and trades boat. And they're just getting blendered here. So, you know, and they still spawn back red tower. And the thing about this, this is like, you know, you're already 20 seconds gone. And by the time you even try and make it to the hill, the team's already going to get 40 seconds on the hill. And at that point, you're just going to cut your losses and rotate. But this is, you know, the ideal situation for a holding team. All right, in this clip, we're going to talk about the ticking time bomb here. So 
uh, we'll go through it. This is Paris uh, versus Atlanta, super early. Obviously, you're you're not gonna see this type of uh, play anymore, and you haven't seen it probably for the last three or four months at least. Uh, but we'll we'll check it out. So Paris is on the breaking uh, side. They have uh, you know scrap time, but they actually have a pretty good rotation. They already have Ivy. They already have P1. So at this point, you're just trying to you know wait for your teammates off scrap. You're gonna push together, try and break this hill. Thing is, remember what we talked about with you know blocking the spawn from P1. You, so you, you would have this line of sight where you could completely block this entire back beach spawn. The thing is, you know, you have your guy spawning up back here, and they have boat. Like, you're going to be spawning him boat, and that's where number seven spawns. So, obviously, this game, you know, it isn't the greatest game ever, we'll say that. And this guy's just going to spawn right behind your teammate. So, at this point, number three is going to be dead. And you also have two guys pushing through beach. This guy's dead. You have one guy, you know, at the stairs here. They're going to squad spawn P1. And, you know, these guys are just going to, you know, play for these beach fights. And at that point, you're chalked because, you know, you have another squad spawn by number seven Ivy here because you're still not blocking that. You're all, you know, mid map and P1. Thing is, it's just an easy hold from there. They have too many angles on you mid map. They have, you know, anyone trying to cut off. You know, anyone trying to push through beach here, pushing through front. You have this guy and this guy. You have anyone pushing through front as well and trying to cut through to the ramp and to Ivy here. You're completely chalked at this point. So that's where, you know, this whole blocking the spawn gets really dicey. So this is a more recent example. And this is Toronto breaking on Atlanta here in stage four. And I want to talk about the rotation and I want to talk about just the whole breaking scenario for Toronto. Um, as you can see, Toronto, they're breaking here. They have one guy all time. They're all spawning back red tower here. So they're going to have this rotation. It's not a great rotation because they were, you know, probably getting trapped and, and getting killed. And these guys already have boat, already have Ivy. They have one guy that's going to get time. And this is a really good rotation out of Atlanta. The thing is, and they even get this one kill on, on this number four here, NP1. So they're looking really pretty right now. Hill just popped and you have no one even in sight of the hill. And you have this super tight setup here. Thing is with, with Atlanta, they use some really good teamwork and they're able to check this crazy credit corner. This is number two, Cami. He gets this kill, huge kill for the rotation. I believe these guys end up trading out uh, over here on this top side. Yeah, number four gets the trade on number six after he kills one. So Toronto's winning these trade battles, three guys up, they have one guy left, Ivy, and they just got to throw bodies at him, they end up getting the kill. Now, last guy is on time, you are rushing to the hill, you're not going, you know, caution tape this entire side of the map when you're breaking like this. You are running down these stairs, running through front, running through Ivy and Fire Alley, trying to break, and then trying to trap Atlanta. At this point, this is a huge break, number four gets this kill. Toronto's looking super pretty. If they can get this kill, number six, they are in a world for hurt for Atlanta because uh, they're going to be completely trapped and they're going to have full time on this P4 and the rotation of P5. Thing is, number six ends up staying alive and Atlanta is able to get these few trade battles. So regardless, they're not getting good time on this Toronto, but it was a good break and you know they were one kill away from actually getting a super nice break and rotation of P5. And as you, can say, uh, as you can see here, you know, Atlanta is still spawning down at the beach here. Number six is going to take a good, nice route. And he's going to try and get his teammates to spawn on him in P3 for this rotation. You know, all of his teammates die here from the Toronto break. But, you know, it's not such good time left. His teammates spawn P3 on him. This is the squad spawn in play right here. You know, Toronto's at this old time. You're trying to rotate with Boat and trying to cut these guys off from getting into P5 and, and holding it from there. But it, it's just not enough at this point. And Atlanta is going to get this rotation as well. So, you know, it was a decently good break out of Toronto, but they didn't get points on it. And they let Atlanta chain to the P5. All right, this is going to be the last clip. We're going to show another breaking situation. This time, white team is London. 
again i believe actually this is also atlanta phase two here uh trying to hold this setup almost similar to the last setup that we watched but you're gonna see uh what we're talking about here you have london rotating gravitating towards that boat side of the map to try and get this ivy spawn once again and you get a kill on this old time here you have a trade battle mid you know number seven is going to die number one but five is going to get that trade another trade battle one as a breaking team trades are your friend because you're going to be spawning them back here on back of the beach so if you can win these trade battles you have the number situation and then you're going to keep converging on the hill they get a big kill on number three here last guy on time you're just going to be throwing bodies at the hill here they're all going to be spawning back up here you know if you want to critique this a little bit if eight plays fire alley and tries to get kills here rather than dying you know that would have been big but you know regardless london here they're just spawning ivy spawning boat and just crunching onto time trying to limit as much points as possible for phase even though again they might not be getting more points than phase they are limiting them as much as possible and as you can see here they're going to keep crunching time atlanta is going to try and take a route here eventually uh, number four is going to take a route but you know london is going to be on top of that rotation you know number six and number five they spawn up they don't hit the hill they wrap back because they know atlanta is going to be trying to play for this rotation in p1 in p3 uh, so number four he's going to stay alive wait for his teammates here and then they're going to try and push up thing is number five is his wrapped he spawned all the way back here at ivy or yeah he, he actually stayed alive fire alley which is crazy oh no he, he died here so he dies fire um he spawns ivy he's gonna wrap all the way around to play for this rotation it's a huge play out of number five um and he he's just playing for anyone cutting here we call this r1 cutting r1 cutting you know bottom stairs here and they're on time they're they're playing a really good rotation this is a great setup out of london one top gun one iv you know in order for atlanta to break this they have to converge on one of these guys and they're gonna have the crosses they have the hill this is a great setup for london 